What is like the spider's web, delicate and beautiful, with strands that go as far as the spider can take them, and every action sends vibrations that affect its entire net of life. Mars 5, signal established, looking good. Initiating kangaroo descent. Ladies and gentlemen, cross your fingers. All systems nominal. Kangaroo bound in 3, 2, So what's up with the shed? What's he going in there for? It has some type of high density material lining the walls. It's kind of hard to see. We think he's hiding some classified technology in there that he's not supposed to have. It all just went black. He's starting it up. Let's go. Have you heard yet from Fast Drop? They're supposed to have those hover bikes at the airport by now. Hey, Dad. This place isn't like Americans. Are you sure this is a good idea? It's too close enough. I can't bikes. fit that much in my backpack. part of the country has no roads. This place is a dictatorship. How is it Dad's friends with a dictator? I guess he's not that much of a bad guy. I didn't know there were good dictators. Yeah, they have to. Listen, there's only one flight a week to Lamar's. Even that's not a reliable flight. I want to take him two weeks with the clothes, OK? You can wash them in the river. I read about that. They beat their clothes with rocks. I saw that too. <laughs> I'm throwing that shirt in the river. Your mother didn't like that shirt. Oh. 
Hey, Philip, what's up? Really? You're not wearing You're what? Yeah. Where? I don't know. We're about to leave on a plane. I don't, I don't know. I'll check. Hey, Dad? Yes? Do you mind if we take a small detour on the way to the airport? I guess. Where? You the Scots? Yes, we are. And you are? Special Agent James Dawson. And you've got Philip Harrison in custody. What's this all about? How do you know him? He's my friend. We went to high school together. Well, your friend was arrested with things he shouldn't have been playing with. Like what? That's not important. Let's just say it's a potential threat to our national security. What? Wait a minute. Now, Philip Harrison's a lot of things, but he's no threat. This didn't happen to have something to do with a lot of wind. Well, it's about time. Get me out of here. You're not going anywhere. Sit down. I haven't done anything. This is illegal. Shut up and sit down or this is going to get a lot worse. What's this? That's a gravity obstruction device. Philip and I made a bigger one for the state science fair last year. I'll be back. Yeah, I bet you will. Say hi to Attila for me. Okay, here's the deal. This comes all the way from the top of the food chain. One time offer, take it or leave it. I already don't want... Excuse me, Mr. Darton. You were saying... We'll release Mr. Harrison and suspend all charges against him on one condition. What's that? Since his parents are deceased, you take him into custody. What? Keep him out of trouble. <laughs> are you kidding me? Why me? You've done culture work for the State Department in the past. You've got an impressive security clearance, actually higher than mine. The long and short of it, Dr. Scott, the President trusts you. Dad, that's really not a bad idea. And what if I say no? He's made it clear he won't work with us. We have no choice but to quietly lock Mr. Harrison up somewhere. What? If there were a machine that does what he says, and there isn't, but if there were, and it got out, who knows what would happen. What are you Dr. Scott, you have 10 seconds to decide. You can't expect me to make a decision like this in 10 seconds. Dad, Philip, you can't do this. I haven't done anything. I want a lawyer. you have room. This is ridiculous. I'm not a schnauzer. You have room. I'll take care of him. You take care of him. I'm not a schnauzer. Okay, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Fine. Get him out of here. I'll take care of him? Come on. Graham? Graham? Yeah, listen, we're on our way. We'll be there in about 30 minutes. And friend, listen, I'm gonna need another ticket. Do not let this be sit out of us. Hold on, Dad. Jamal, Jamal! Harrison, hey, do you have a passport? Yes. Where is it? It's at home. What's Why? the name on it? What's the name on it? Philip Raymond Harrison. Philip Raymond Harrison. Yeah, Philip Raymond Harrison. And oh, listen, friend, first class if they got it. Excuse me, what's going on here? You're going with us to Africa. Five minutes of that. No, we barely have enough time. The doctor like Scott, here's your extra ticket. They will not hold the plane, so you better hurry. Malcolm, we're already cleared through security. Harrison is not. Take this. Go to one of the shops. Get him clothes. Get him toiletries. Meet us at Gate B22. You got that? Yes, sir. All Can right. Can I go with Malcolm? Yeah, but hurry. The plane leaves in 30 minutes. Fran, thank you. I'll call you when we get there. Harrison, you're with me. A nice flight. <laughs> We just bought this ticket to Freeport? To where? I thought we were going to Lamoros. No, it's illegal to travel to Lamoros. You don't know where you're going? We're on a cultural mission. Mr. Harrison here, he's just a critical late ad. Passport? Yeah. John Salt, who baggage claim. John Salt, who baggage claim. You have any baggage? Uh, I don't know. My son's bringing it. He'll be here in a minute. Mr. Scott. I'm going to need you and Mr. Harrison to step this way, please. We'll miss our plane. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to come with me. Oh, relax. We're not terrible. Harrison! 45 to 16. I need backup at station two. Code nine. Great job, Harrison. Great job. How does anyone with a passport not know not to use the word terrorist in an airport? Never been in an airport before. What? Dad hated flying, so we always drove. Wait a minute. Your dad built a flying car. A flying car? Until the government stole it. It's a long story. I'm sure if the government stole your flying car, they had a good reason. No, they didn't. Maybe you should just be quiet. I'm going to get it back, too. Maybe you should really be quiet. 
Can I help you? We'll take it from here, Mr. Bellos. Excuse us. Dr. Robert Scott? Yes. General Hawthorne Beal. Oh, this is not that serious. Dr. Scott, Mr. Harrison, will you please come with me? We have a private plane to Africa waiting with your boys. Seriously? State told us you were heading to Lamaros to do some research. It's got nothing to do with the government. It's like no one where I am. You know the place? I know the language. I know the customs. What's up, General? We need your help. We've had a potentially embarrassing accident happen over Lamaros, and we would like to rectify it before anyone finds out about it. What kind of accident? We were running a black op into Africa off a carrier in the Indian Ocean. And one of our pilots went over Lamoros without their knowledge. One had a malfunction and the plane went down in the jungle. Now, the pilot's dead, but we need to obtain that flight recorder. It has sensitive information about its destination. So you want me to negotiate with Lamoros to get the black box? Not exactly. We don't want them to know this mission ever took place. We don't think the King will accept any type of cover story. We need your help. You're our only way in. Well, that's only because his daughter was a student of mine at Cambridge. We need for you to get three of our men to the crash site without raising any suspicion. General, I'm on a cultural mission with my family. How am I going to explain three extra people? They won't be extra. King has never met your family, so here's our plan. We're gonna replace your boys with my A-team. Private Figueroa, Private Johnson. Jamal, you've grown. Yeah, we'll have to hope that baby face will pass for 15. Now your boys will stay here in Freeport until we get back. What? We're not staying here. I'm not leaving my family behind, General. I'm not giving you a choice, Dr. Scott. This is a matter of national security. And since we're no longer on U.S. soil, your right to petition is somewhat limited. You government apes are all the same. Look, can't you just let us go in and get it? Your father has clearance, you don't. It'll be much safer if they stay here, trust me. And how do I know that? Don't do it, Dr. Scott. Don't trust him! Get him out of here. Hey, hey what are Dad, you doing? Let, oh, let, oh, let go of me! Do this that. is let your idea, me. safe? Malcolm, Jamal, go with him. Make sure he stays safe. You got it. All right, General, I'll play along, but I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Patriotism isn't always easy. I'm not so sure this has anything to do with patriotism. Do that. Shut up. All right, you two, we need your clothes. What? Excuse me? Come on, get them off. Well, what are we gonna wear? That's not my problem. Come on, out of here. Look, if I can grab my luggage and change it into something, I'm not going anywhere. Hey! It's a good thing you're not trying that with me. Let's not go there. A and B teams, wheels up in 10. The old man says the king knows about this guy and I'm supposed to swap with him. That isn't happening. This isn't happening. I'm pretty sure this violates several articles of the United States Constitution. Well, I'm gonna violate more than that. What did he say? Who? King Kong. He said there are both A and B teams. Yeah, so? So who's the B team? Hello, yeah, mate. Looks like you're gonna be spending some time flying! <laughs> this doesn't smell right. You think? We have to get on that plane. I think I know how we could do that.
feel like I'm being hijacked, General. Believe me, Dr. Scott. We wouldn't be doing this if there were any other way. So what's the hurry? Why not at least try to plug us in? Stakes are too high. The information in that box could lead to World War III. What are you guys doing in there? Don't ask. We have to get to that box and get it out there as quickly and quietly as possible. Can you see in the dark in those things? Yeah, it's great for hide and seek. Why? Let's see if Harrison's over there. Last row. Jump in at the same time. Pull this cord on a five count, otherwise you're dead. Got it? Yeah. I can't do this. Yeah. Shoot on. You got a problem here, mate. No, 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 sir. Get this shit out. Come on, let's go, let's go. Go die. Space and aeronautics. Mechanics of the wing. High pressure below, low pressure above. We steer by spilling air on one side or the other. That one! I know the physics! It's the same science that says if you fall from 10,000 feet, it's not going to end good! We got the plane, pull this. I think should be fine. I think. Jamal! 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 Jamal, look at me, look at me. Calm down. Control your breathing. Begin. One. Fuzzies. Begin. Two. Fuzzies. Three. Four. Four, one, two, warm fuzzies, three, four, five. Okay, guys, out of the plane, out of the plane, go, 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 go. go. Never on my bucket list. Where's Jamal? I don't know. Jamal. 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 Where is that kid? Puppy's a kitten. Puppy's a kitten. Puppy's a kitten. Puppy's a kitten. Ugh. Hey, you all right? That was the worst idea you have ever had. We have to get out of here. Your dad and Beale are landing in Gamboo any minute now. Jamal, you online? Ugh. Out here? GPS? Are you kidding? Not for the Southern Hemisphere. We'll have to find those paratroopers then and follow them in. Yeah, following a SEAL team without getting caught? That sounds like a great idea. Well, if we don't, we could be lost out here for months. You know they know we're out here, right? Well, let's hope that they have bigger things on their to-do list. They landed this way. Come on. Yes, it's so nice to see you again. Dr. Scott, I am Papianu, personal assistant to King Rana. 
The princess has told us so much about you. His Highness is so anxious to meet you and your wonderful family. Oh, thank you. Well, this is my oldest. This is Malcolm. Well, hey, I'm beginning to like the scenery around here. Malcolm, there is no contact of the Morris between men and women. Well, that's no fun. This is my youngest. This is Jamal. What's up? Jamal, that is not the way we greet the king's representative. <laughs> my bad. This is Malcolm's friend, Philip Harrison. The king would like for you to be his guest at the palace. We don't want to be bothered. Actually, it was my idea. I am very interested in your cultural expedition. I hope to tag along. That's uh, probably not a good idea. Uh, uh, what he means is, the way out to the site is on really rugged terrain. He just doesn't want to suffer the embarrassment of asking you to wait for him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll discuss it over dinner. That would be wonderful. Uh, that's okay, I got this. That's all right. Hey, boys. <sighs> Listen, let's not insult our host hospitality any more than we already have. Give me your bags. Hey, man. You got your music down. We're gonna sneak up on you guys. I need it for the distraction or else I'll go nuclear. You don't know what this is like for me. You don't know what it's gonna be like when they catch us. Hey, man. I know it's rough. You all right? Hang in there. Come on. Let's keep moving. No. Let's not keep moving. You look military. And yet, you're not armed. Where are you from? <laughs> Clearly, not military. Kill them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're Americans. Americans? Yeah, we're Americans. Yes, sir. Kill them. Well, hold on, hold on a minute, all right? The real U.S. military stole our clothes, and they're in the jungle right now. We're trying to track them down. They have soldiers pretending to be us, acting like tourists. And this fantasy is for what? Um... Kill them. Hey, Malcolm. How do we know General Beale and his crew are real military? Guys, I'm online. They were a little sloppy to be a SEAL team. But who else could they be? Checking. And by the way, there's a recall on your AR. The clip loader gets off center and the cartridge explodes in the chamber. I haven't found anything on Hawthorne Beale, but I did take some pictures of him at the airport. And? And he's not... Military? Hawthorne Beale. His name is Ambrose Hawthorne Pelly. I'm looking at his prison record from... Don't leave us hanging here. Cape Town. Malcolm. Yeah? He's a terrorist. He got locked up for trying to blow up the city center. He killed nine people. And he has dad. What is that device? It's a biometrically synchronized interface. And how is it that you're online? Well, I figured one of you guys had a satellite-linked hotspot. We do not. That means someone else does. Uh-oh. Nobody move. Drop the hardware. You don't want to try my patience. Where's the rest of your men? They're dead. We dropped in on a pride of lions. They were on us before we even saw them coming. And who are you? Local thugs? Guns for hire? We are harvesters. I knew it. What are you harvesting? Pot? Opium? Big game. Well, thank you. I'm sure that you are tired after your long flight, Dr. Scott. Where's our stuff? May is delivering it to your room as we speak. Okay. Again, I have to apologize for my children, Mr. Papiano. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Boys will be boys. You're very kind and very understanding, Mr. Papiano. Thank you. 
I'm sure you will find our accommodations most acceptable. Yep, there is a wet bar, but I'm afraid it's only stocked with non-alcoholic beverages. Oh, that's fine. Dinner at 6 p.m.? Yes. Until then. Okay. You guys are coming up a little short on this diplomatic. Clear. Clear. Let's get something straight here. The only thing you need to get straight, old man, is that I'm in charge here. Got it? Oh. Got it? You need to get that finger out of my face, or I'm gonna have a hard time explaining to our host how you broke it jumping up and down on the bed. What's the game plan, Sarge? Check the bags. Make sure we have everything. What in the... Are you guys expecting to kill somebody? A lot of somebody's if they get in our way. You have a six-hour window before you have to be back here for dinner. Can you make it? Not by foot. I could definitely hotwire that SUV out there in a New York minute. No, that would get noticed. Rob a native off of his motorcycle. I'll stay here and make sure Dad doesn't do anything stupid. And so how do you expect to get out of here? <laughs> Through the front door. We're just American teenagers anxious to do some exploring. Oh, Dad, can we please go, please? Yeah, Dad, wouldn't that be swell? No, I'm the one with the relationship with the king. And you guys are not messing that up. And I have over a thousand hollow point reasons that say otherwise. We'll be back by 1700. No later than. Roger that. This is a little corny, don't you think? It's taking us to the ground for the vultures. This is not for vultures, Mr. Harrison. Ants. African fire ants, to be precise. We had a run-in with some angry locals earlier, and so our ammunition is a bit on short supply. You know, in spite of what we might think of your illegal poaching, it isn't worth our lives. We promise we won't tell anyone. Telling anyone doesn't matter. I paid the local authorities very handsomely, so they're content to just leave me alone. Okay, I'll tell you why we're here. This nest contains over 10 million insects. It can even devour a zebra in less than 48 hours. So tell me, how are you in any position to bargain with me? Because it'll make you a very, very rich man. Boys should have stayed free for it. You're really just gonna leave us here? You have my sympathies, but not as much as that. If we come back this way, we may bury your bones. We may need him. Why? He may be valuable. One ounce of trouble out of you? Pop! <laughs> this isn't good. No, this isn't good. I hate Africa and I want to go home. I'm with you, little brother. I want a nice couch. Some TV. I, I want a shower, and I want clean underwear. We'll get there, Jamal. Don't worry. What? What, what? what? We'll call Dad. Oh, my bad. We can't. Jamal. What? Jamal? You okay? It's gone. Come on, little brother. Keep it together. You all right, you hear me? No, I am not all right. I've been staked to an anthill by poachers 
and, and murderers. I'm covered in bugs that are eating me alive, and I've just been peed on by a lion! I don't know what just happened, but I'm really impressed. Uh, Jamal? Uh, Jamal? Have a hand over here? So what do you need me for? Tell me what you know about something called the kangaroo. What? Your father designed it for NASA, you know, before he went nuts. He never went nuts. So then tell me about the kangaroo. NASA launched it to Mars. Last I heard, it was headed back to Earth. Okay, and what else do you know about it? Why? This is why. Did your father discuss it with you? How it worked? How it was put together? What it was made for. Maybe. I should hope for your sake that he did. Otherwise, we little use for you. Shouldn't we be trying to catch up with Harrison? Can't do much on our own against those guys. We have to find the palace. Why'd they take him? I don't know. Well, we can't answer questions with more questions. We have to find Dad. It'd be a lot easier if we weren't lost in the jungle. We aren't lost in the jungle. Don't kill him, we need him. Do you want to go jump after him? We need to make sure he's dead. There he is! Kill him! online? Nope. It looks like they haven't figured out cell phone towers here yet. Excuse me, you speak English? Kasiva Civit. French. Mon frère, et moi, soy, LA, Rechercher, pour les Pele. Why come? Merci. This is a little out of place, don't you think? Well, Amoros was settled by the French. Since when did you become such an encyclopedia? I do my research the old-fashioned way. I use actual keyboards. Troglodyte? Est-ce que je peux vous aider? Oh, um... Nous, Amero, voulez-vous sur une question du grand importance? Et vous êtes en train de transpercer? Qui t'es ici? Uh, uh... Nous, Kuros, Q, Torres, du... Sayotos Americanas, Excellence, Rahana, Son Elefantes, Dan, Lu, Discatanse, et Complont, du la salade, du pommes, du charret. This is not your way for Zarete. Please! Okay, Vatan, des ignorants, des fous, va trouver votre parent. Vous êtes un soleil d'un barra fibre. Is this really the best they can do for a jail? This is the king's residence. They don't have a jail. But they do have Wi-Fi. You're online? High-speed broadband. There's like nine computers running. Someone's working on a spreadsheet. Three are on Facebook. Four are watching the news and... Ew! 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 Ew. Oh, oh, dirty movies! What's on the news? Philip! How'd you get away from those guys? Do you remember swimming in Olsen's quarry? Yeah. 
Around here, they haven't heard of a cliff jump. How'd you get here? The river runs by the palace. So I jumped out and acted like a crazy man, and voila. Great minds think alike. So like I was saying, what's on the news? Usual stuff. The Prince of England just had another baby. And the BBC says some spacecraft was lost. The kangaroo? Yes, yeah, so? We have to get out of here and warn your dad. Well, what's your plan, Dini? It's bolted to the floor, and I don't have a wrench, so don't ask. This is a physics problem. Mass density and tensile cohesion are too great there. But not our wrists. What? We aren't cutting our wrists off to get away. No. We're gonna shrink them. Huh? Capillaries constrict because of the cold. Less blood, and the tissue compresses. No more compression? Pollution the handcuffs. So, Jamal, can you hack with that thing? Are you kidding? See if you can hack into NASA and find out what happened to that spacecraft. Ha <laughs> ha! I get to hack into NASA? Don't get caught. That would have a fish. What's the kangaroo? It's a Newtonian lander. Oh! It's an unmanned spacecraft designed to bounce off the planet's surface and recover some soil in the process. My dad designed it before he got canned at NASA. But that's why they wanted me. They wanted to know what I knew about it. This really hurts. I hate ice. More than the ants? No, but really close. Now we just have to find a way out of here. We're all thicker than the door. The door's still pretty thick. The hinges are on the inside, which means the door opens this way. So the problem's not the door, it's the hinges. It's not the hinges. It's the pins that hold the hinges to the wall. We need a wedge. Something to use as a full curl and pull the pins out. You know, we could do the old credit card and the door trick and push the lock back. Oh, you brought a credit card. That would be a no. Exactly. You know, Dad always says the simplest solution is usually the best solution. Yeah, so? They had no reason to lock the door. All right, so we need to find your dad and deal with the doppelgangers or try and find somebody that speaks English and explain what's going on. Both ideas sound bad. Is there a third option? We can make a sandwich. I'm starving. What? No. Why not just call fair room service? Uh-oh. This isn't what it looks like. I think this is exactly what it looks like. You are thieves in my father's palace. Not exactly. Who are you? I'm Malcolm Scott. This is my brother Jamal. Scott's family? I've been so anxious to finally meet you. Really? I was a student of your father's. <gasps> If it's all the same to you, I'd just as easily give up without a fight. Who are you? We already told you. We're the... Dr. Scott's family is upstairs. We brought him here from the airport. That's only part true. You aren't really with the government, are you? And let me guess. You and your thugness are just mercenaries to somebody, right? That means... <laughs> Bill isn't even really a general. And all this secret mission stuff. Just a bunch of... Yes? Mr. Scott. Yes? May I trouble you for a moment? Uh, yeah, come on in. <laughs> Mr. Papiano? There's been a disturbance underground. or your children with you? Um, well, uh, no. A couple of them wanted to see the sights, and they're out looking around somewhere. Uh, Malcolm is... Here in the chair. Well, you look very tired after your long flight. I hope he isn't keeping you awake. You might want to lie down. Uh, you're, you're very observant. Uh, yes, sir, I, I will. I definitely will lie down. Uh, we'll see you at six. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
What was that about? Take him to the police. I will have a chat with Dr. Scott. Oh. Hey, Dad. What's up? What are you doing down there? What am I doing down here? What do you think I'm doing down here? We saw Tia in the kitchen. She brought us to Mr. Papiano. And boy, was she freaked out. At first, I did not believe them. Certainly, they were trespassers. You had to have heard one heck of a story. <laughs> it certainly was. And guess who our doubles are? I was about to ask when you guys showed up. I did facial recognition through my eye. Those guys are pretty bad. They're with a group called Arch Defiance. I believe they're after the kangaroo. The what? It's a Newtonian lander my dad designed for NASA before they canned him. It crashed like four miles from here. It just came back from Mars. Oh, well, surely His Excellency will allow my government in now. I am not so sure, Dr. Scott. Now wait a minute, we were lied to by these people as well. Whatever the lie was, you were willing participants. I wasn't. Be quiet, Philip. Mr. Papiano, I've got to speak to His Excellency. The longer we sit here talking about it, the closer they get to it. We have to move now. We're not going anywhere. I demand to speak to King Rana. I'm afraid that's impossible. We will send our own troops in to retrieve this kangaroo. I don't like this. I don't either. Young man, you will show us the location of this device. The mall is not going anywhere. Mr. Scott, do not make this more difficult than I what demand is. to see King Ron. We're American citizens. You are not recognized here. You don't recognize the United States. You are confined to your room. We will send someone for the boy. Come on, Dad, let's go. Come on. All right, Jamal, make it fast. What are you doing? Guys, I got this. Ah, uh, hello! My name is Isbar Papiano. This is quite embarrassing, but I seem to have dropped my fob in the storm drain. Outside the palace. Very well, Monsieur Papiano. Uh, I need your assistance. I, I gotta take the king. A uh, tour doctor's appointment. Jamal, I... Dad, it's fine. Security questions. Security questions, of course. Very well. Monsieur Papiano, what is your password? Well, that's easy. Uh... Forgive me, monsieur. Is there a problem? Pookie. That is correct. And where did you grow up? I grew up in... Gambu. And finally, Monsieur Papiano, what is your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie... I have so many. Down, boy, down! No, stay down! I'm sorry, the king's beloved, uh... Cocker Spaniel... Woo! ...is jumping woo! on me. Very well, woo! Monsieur Papiano. I completely understand. <laughs> With dirty paws! Papiano? Your favorite movie? Uh, yeah, my favorite movie. Fast and Furious 7 was, was pretty good. Ha! Just kidding. Yeah, it's actually a toss-up between, um... The Lawrence of Arabia and, um... SpongeBob SquarePants. Thank you, my dear. May I send you some tickets to our next national cricket match? Uh oh, never mind. Bye. Come on, hurry up. Everybody in. You are keeping us very busy, Dr. Scott. I can't help you now, Mr. Papiano. I must see His Excellency. I told you that cannot happen until your son gives us the information we require. Okay, okay, but on one condition. Uh, what is that? Jamal stays with me. They stay here. What, Dad? I don't think that's a good idea. Guys, Jamal needs me.
if you guys start partying, be careful of the ice cream. Oh yeah, I'm trying to cut back on my ice cream. Sugar can be a real holy terror. Don't worry guys, we'll be okay. Same here, Dad. Well, here we are. Back in the basement. And it looks like they learned to lock the door. <laughs> Who knows, in a few generations, maybe they'll learn basic hygiene! All right, all right. Let's put this all together. First, can we please turn out that light? Looks like it's controlled outside. Not anymore. Have you ever considered meditation? No, not really. All right, so what do we know? Well, NASA launched the kangaroo to Mars eight months ago. It was to secure soil samples and return to Earth to study for future colonization. Why would Pelly want it? Ransom? Reward? Nah, he's got the cash. He's hired mercenaries, guns, a cargo plane, fake IDs, and he bribed the security out of Freeport into getting into Lamoros. If I had the type of money to do all that, I have to be really well organized. Really organized? Pilly's not behind all this. Why not? Have you ever been a part of a school play? Uh, no. Well, I have. You have actors, rehearsals, props, tons of people behind the scenes. But only one director. And he never got on stage. Beale's on stage. He's one of the actors. So we're looking at an international somebody with vast organization and a boatload of cash who wants a broken spacecraft? What if it's not the spacecraft? What are you talking about? The soil. Yeah, so it's red dirt. What if it's not just dirt? Bacteria. A microscopic nasty that we have no immunity to. An ultimate bioweapon. They don't want money. They want power. Papiano? They're all after the same thing. They're getting the location from Jamal. We have to get there first. What are you thinking? If you watch your step, we'll be walking out of here. Harrison, no, don't do that. That's crazy. I am getting out of here. I can't take this anymore. You're going to get stuck. I can fit. I can fit. You get out of the window, then what? Come on, man, stop it. Let go of my leg. Philip. Let go. Where? I don't know. He, he somehow must have squeezed through the bars. Not possible. Th that's what I thought. But I guess he's double jointed. Just like Houdini. <gasps> I'm really sorry about that. I'm not. <laughs> Stop right there. Oh no. Oh, Princess, let us explain. You don't have to. I've known for years that Fabiano could not be trusted. Whatever he is up to, we have to stop him. Well, let's get going. What are these machines? These are GODs. Philip, I know this looks bad, but let me explain. Your father's been in on this since the beginning, hasn't he? You've been playing me! No, Philip. Dad's been trying to vet your work. What? Homeland Security's afraid of what you made at the science fair. Your dad works for the government. Are you saying that he stole it? Is that what this whole custody charade has been about? I knew it! No! Philip, for once, shut up and listen. If someone from the government comes in and validates the technology and finds it has a peaceful use, I'll get it back. And your family's reputation is cleared. These controls are a little awkward. Looks like whoever copied the Camaro got the what right, but couldn't quite get the how or the why. You ready? I don't know. What am I supposed to be ready for? Put these on. Jamal has come to the party. It's 
says it's about a kilometer north. Excellent. What's this? We'll take over from here. Don't be stupid. One spill of that and you guys are gonna kill yourselves first and everybody else. We'll be okay. Tie him to a tree. This is a game trail. It won't be long before a big cat comes along. I'll kill you for this! <laughs> My path is littered with people who say that. Goodbye. Which way? Turn north. Come on, keep up! Pottery. Today, we move from simple poachers to a power that will make the world quake. That statement's a bit premature, Ben Seraph. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You guys know each other? Papianu, my old friend. What brings you out of your air-conditioned luxury? The same thing that brings you out of your eroded lair, my old friend. Step away from the spacecraft. It belongs to our country. It belongs to the United States. <laughs> I believe your countrymen would say, Finders keepers, step away. Don't make me ask again. This device could put our tiny country on the map, as it were. I'm taking that canister out of here. The road. You're just in time, my friend. Yeah, I am. I hope you didn't take personally being tied up. It's only business. Yeah, I got you. Nothing personal. What? the glasses, kid. Now. You don't know what you're messing with, Bill, or Pelly, or whatever your name is. I'm sure I do, Dr. Scott. Martian dirt has microscopic life in it that no human on this planet has immunity to. Harrison, I know you're up there. You better come down before I start dropping your friends like flies!
open it. Now. Okay. You win. Good choice. There are no good choices. Good. Now hand it over, carefully. It's very fragile. You'll need both hands. Give it to me. Be careful of the seal. The code is 55. Five. It's loose! <laughs> you idiot! What have you done? Come on, guys, keep up. The containment canister was cooking at 2,000 degrees coming through the atmosphere. There's no way that they could survive on Earth. You don't know Besides, that. Besides, those microbes were formed millions of years ago in a sub-freezing carbon dioxide atmosphere. Well, what happened to him? He fainted. But what about your father's expedition? You never even started it. Dad's being called back to Washington. He has to explain what happened. Plus, both the bikes are damaged. We have to get them fixed. And you and your father really invented them. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, Princess. Malcolm Philip, may I present to you His Highness, King Rama. Pleased to finally meet you, Your Excellency. Your Highness. Where's Jamal? Uh, he's already on the plane. It has Wi-Fi. I apologize for being so discreet, but your government insists we pretend the whole affair never happened and that you were never here. Sounds familiar. I appreciate you humoring them, though. <laughs> and I promise, we really will come back and look at those cultural artifacts. And also help us with our election. You're not going to be a dictator anymore? Young man, I never wanted to be a dictator. We're transitioning to a democracy. And we're doing it with your father's help. Mr. Harrison, I understand you and your friends caused some chaos. Trespassing, vandalism, assault. Father. Not to mention I have the World Health Organization and NASA cleaning up your mess. On the other hand, you and your friends did save the world. As you Americans say, I guess it's a wash. Tell him Mr. Papiano, we're arrested. What about the others? <laughs> them. Those terrorists, they caught them in the bay trying to hijack a boat. <laughs> One did get away, though. Ben Sari. They didn't get him. He is a low-level poacher who will amount to nothing. What I don't understand is who's behind all this and how they knew so much about Philip. Perhaps a mystery for another day. And Philip, turns out you were right. World Health confirmed the dirt on that kangaroo, sterile. Nothing to it. How do you keep up with these young people, Robert? <laughs> keep up? Who says I'm keeping up? I'm trying not to be left behind. Oh, and uh, Harrison. Yeah? Welcome to the family. 